welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a grocery haul for you guys i'm going to be doing an updated grocery haul the last haul i did i believe i was pregnant and i also threw in some dinner ideas gia you mm -hmm. want to pass me my phone really fast baby Mama, careful uh, yeah right there mommy? yes so can i can i tell them what we got um so in my phone i do up uh, careful baby careful there's raw meat right here careful there is some dinner ideas, so I'll be sharing you guys what I will be making for the week. We go shopping every week, um, and usually I like to spend about $100 to $130 max, um, and $130 is like for sure. Or if I'm getting more like, I call it preservative food, because um, I like to buy fresh, but um, I bought a little bit more preservative type this week. Um, I'm just going to show you guys what I get. So I'm going to first tell you guys some of the dinner ideas and then this is how I kind of make my grocery list and then I go off of that. I mean, and this week I did kind of like a lax because usually I will prep for myself in regards to like breakfast and lunch. Um, and if I don't prep, I'll at least have ideas down for myself. So for dinner, I have chicken, veggies, and rice for one night. Um, and then I have chicken tacos chicken white chili turkey spaghetti and shrimp pesto um pasta it's kind of the same thing but um that's because last week we just had like a lot of beef and stuff anyways don't want to get into it let's just jump into today's video this week i spent about 140 dollars for all of this but i also ended up getting um wipes and then I got this huge box of diapers. Uh, it's not huge, it's 128 diapers. Um, I also got wipes and then I also got toilet paper and um, paper towels. So those I, I didn't really include because it's not a grocery haul. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the fruit. Um, I went ahead and got some bananas, um, three pounds of cutie oranges. These go fast in our house. Um, last week we were just hooked on limes, so I got us some more limes. I also got blueberries. I got tomatoes. Um, I love making tomato and cucumber salad, so I also got oh cucumbers. Hold on, Gia. I also got cucumbers as well. Limes, and then you know what this is, baby? You want to tell them what this is? We got cilantro guys at the store. We did. And we like it. Okay, so next we got juice. What kind of juice? Lemon juice. And what is that? Grapes. Grape. This is white grape. Juice. And then we also got. We got apple juice. Apple what? juice. That's it. Apple juice and grape juice. And these are Gianna's favorites. We forgot to buy chicken. Nuggets. What is it? We're going to buy chicken nuggets, guys, because so we can't go back in the mom, my mom, my mom said her tummy hurts and she, she feels like she can throw up. Okay, she's telling my business now. But yes, I did get her some pancakes and we forgot her chicken nuggets. Gia is obsessed with chicken nuggets and pancakes. The next thing we got is Texas toast because we are having pasta, so I definitely know I can pair this with something that we're having. Um, oh, we got, you we got jelly sure. from the store for peanut butter jelly. We don't have okay. jelly much. Hold on, hold on, hold on. For peanut butter and jelly, um, because we do live off of peanut butter and jellies in this house. Good source of protein and fruit. Um, and we are obsessed with this artisano bread. We get two loaves a week because one won't get us through. And these are like... 280 each but we don't care because we love this bread and, and if you haven't tried it definitely go and try it you guys and guys we got some cheese at the store because we always like cheese so cheese is still the best uh, so we got cheddar sharp cheddar cheese and then we also I just did that. got some I just did that. go ahead tell me what we got so we got so long, guys, and we what salami is for Grandma Julie. It is, and, and then these hold on, G. These are chicken apple, and these are Sam's choice. I actually like to have these with breakfast, and I'll pair them with like some potatoes, or I'll just pair them with some eggs. So I love these for breakfast time. Yes, G. Um. So we got 
Frozen broccoli, our and favorite. Frozen broccoli, our favorite. Mm -hmm. Frozen broccoli. Oh, nice. This is organic zucchini, green and yellow zucchini. And the reason why I got organic is I get organic for the baby. I'm thinking about doing a how I make his food because I'll do steamable and I also cook fresh. But this is super easy and it's healthy. So if you guys would like to see a video on how I make his baby food fresh and frozen, then comment down below and give this video a huge thumbs up. Let's go see it, girl. And guys, we got our cheese set. Then we also got this <coughs> oh, Hispanic. Oh, I was gonna do it. Yeah, stop. We also got this Hispanic Southwest blend. It has corn and all kinds of stuff. And I bought this because I can easily make a stew or like a crock pot out of this if I just throw some chicken or meat or whatever in there. I can put, you know, the little tortilla chips and call it a day. Now, yeah. me turn. So, we got this. This mixed is our, veggies. This is mixed and veggies. We like this because we got beans. And Carrots and corn. Carrots and corn. Yes. And cheese. And cheese. And we got everything to go. For the rest of our items, I thought I would just kind of show you guys close up because I just feel like seeing it so far away is a little bit hard. Plus, Gianna's helping me, so it's kind of all over. So I'm going to show you guys up close the rest of the things that I got in our grocery haul. Um, I am going to be making shrimp pesto pasta. So I got this shrimp raw, and it's tailed off. And, um, yeah. So... I got this. Um, we also are on Pete's Coffee right now. We usually really love the Starbucks, but lately we've been getting Pete's French Roast, Dark Roast, and we've been liking it. Um, tortillas, I love, love, love tortillas. So those like 15 packs don't last me long, so I got a big pack this time. Um, miso soup, it's a paste, and what I love about this is honestly, I'll just add this into my ramen and I'll just, you know, make it a little different and then miso and then also I love getting these big chickens um, I don't get them often but last week I cooked it and it was such a great idea so I went ahead and got two more this week because they had no chicken in stock so really this is all I could work with anyways and this was 1052 so you can't go wrong with that if you have oops if you have a Winco near you, I'm pretty sure they would have something even more affordable. Um, Winco's awesome. It's a little far for us, but super affordable if you could go to Winco. Um, and then over here, we got cereal, which this is honey bunches of oats, and it's honey roasted. Um, and then we got hot sauce. Usually we get crystal hot sauce, but they had nothing left of crystal. So, um, they literally had no hot sauce. This was all they had. So I went ahead and got red hot. Um, and I got the small one cause I wasn't sure if we would like it. Um, mixed chili beans, um, pinto beans, garbanzo beans. We also got Gia, you want to, um, tell them what you got, what kind of spaghetti you got? Um, and then we got some pasta sauce, chili beans, but these are pinto, and then we got great northern beans as well. And then we also got peaches and 100% juice, and I think these are like 180, and the thing I like about these is I make these into Gianna's popsicles. She asked um, to have popsicles, but I literally will just get like the plastic things that you can make the popsicles in. We have them already, and if you put these in there, it like fits perfectly, way healthier choice, and just like, it's two bucks. Like, can't go wrong with that. We got this, guys. And raviolis. And it's raviolis, and we got ABC spaghetti. I like it. ABC I, spaghetti. I just said I don't want, I don't want raviolis. Mm, okay. Wow. Okay, so the last couple of things that I got because if you guys have been following my vlogs and you guys know that the kids have been sick, so I went and got disinfecting wipes. I'm not a fan of just like lots of chemicals and stuff, but um, when kids are sick, like girl, the Clorox is coming through and this 
in this case it's a uh, the great value okay um, and then I also got Lysol for the laundry because the kids are sick and this is free from fragrances and dyes but it kills 99% of bacteria and then I also got mr. clean magic eraser this is what I use to clean like our shower and stuff and it's been needing a good scrubbing so with that being said that is it for our grocery haul i hope you guys enjoyed today's video again if you guys would like to see um a video on how i do baby brothers puree frozen and fresh then comment down below because i think that would be a fun video um and it's actually really easy and it's super cost efficient so don't think that it's like a bougie thing it literally is so much more affordable to make the food than it is to buy it but thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video. If you guys liked today's video, don't forget to blah, blah, blah. don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Love to have you, and we'll definitely be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye.